Mostert, Waddle on top of your screen. Tonga by Loa. Here they come with Washington. There he goes. Oway chasing. Touchdown, Craycraft. Two yard throw. Tonga by Loa with his third touchdown pass today. Well, it's all the spin move. Watch this reaction that Tua has right before he's about to get sacked. Instead of flushing out to his right, he pivots and goes the opposite way. That allows him to buy time. Craycraft getting across the field, giving him a big open target. Getting the easy touchdown. Craycraft is out of Washington State. Waved in the final cut down. Former Niner. And Jason Sanders will try the extra point on that 75-yard drive. It is true. And a new score from Baltimore. Two-yard touchdown pass to Atunga Bailoa to Craycraft, River Craycraft. And there is our score. And Baltimore is set to get it. We have had some outstanding quarterbacking from the terrific Lamar Jackson in this game. And this will be in and out of the end zone. He's got a perfect quarterback rating right now. He's 14 of 17, 228, and three touchdowns, no picks. He also has carried it for 118 yards on the ground on seven carries and a touchdown. You have to go back to 1948. <laughs> I'm not kidding. 1948 to find a quarterback with the perfect passer rating and 100 yards rushing. And here is who was quarterbacking back then. Sammy Baugh, Charlie Connerly, Bob Waterfield, Sid Luckman. Who else here? Paul Chrisman, Johnny Lujak. <laughs> Trent Green. No, not Trent. I'm sorry. I don't know. I was me. Jackson first and ten. Ricard the block. Easily flips it downfield. Caught by the tumbling Duvernay. And he's down to the 48 of Miami. Nice catch. Down he goes. 26-yard pickup, and he just adds to the total. That's a first down. Duvernay with the grab. His first. Well, it's when, when you're having a day like this, like Lamar Jackson, and, and, and just everything looks to be in slow motion. The field just looks to be in slow motion, and the windows giant, no matter what the throw is that you're making, when you're on this kind of a roll, Lamar Jackson, you just went through all the stats on the day. Now he's 15 of 18, 254, three touchdowns, obviously over 100 rushing. It's just when you're having days like this, you don't want them to end because, uh, because of how well you're seeing the field. In the pistol, first and 10 for Jackson. Tight end's got it, Andrews. And he's brought down on the play after a gain of seven and hit there by Rowe. Let's go to JB and Coach in New York. Coach Cower, finally a touchdown. Yeah, and a defensive slugfest right here. Tom Brady has some time, finds Bashad Perryman from 28 yards out. They lead 10 to 3 in the fourth. Back to Kevin, Trent, and Melanie. Thank you, guys. We were talking about that, how New Orleans is such a tough task for Tom Brady it over is. the last couple of seasons. They, Dennis Allen does a heck of a job defending him, and the fact they, they got that touchdown is impressive. The battles they've had over the years. Andrews, by the way, seven carries, 73 receiving yards, seven receptions for Andrews and 73 receiving yards. That's a gain of a yard, and that's by Kenyon Drake. He runs out of bounds near the 42 of the Dolphins. So the tight end is caught seven for 73. Bateman is caught four for 108. Likely is caught three for 41. Lamar is 16 of 19 for 260. He's got seven carries himself for 118. And by the way, he has just now become the quarterback with the most 100 yards rushing in a career, breaking a tie with Michael Vick, third and two. He'll add to it here. Seiler. Sealer will jump on his back and bring him down. Zach Sealer. Looks like he's going to be short. Played by Baltimore back in 2019. Looks like he will be short by about a yard. So it looks like they're bringing the offense on there. Actually, the extra body Number going for it here on fourth down. Sealer read it well. Even the Moses block at that tackle couldn't free him up. So it's fourth and about a yard, less than a yard. 
So he and Michael Vick retire with the most 100-yard rushing games by a quarterback, and now Lamar, the all-time leader. Fourth and one. And the running back is Mike Davis. Jackson will take it himself with the Davis block, and I think he was stood up and stoned. He did not make it. Did not make it. Thrown for a loss of about a yard. Miami's defense holds. And the Dolphins are going to get it with good beginning field position at their own 41. Well, as a quarterback and as an offense, you like the aggressiveness. And, and when, you get the, uh, when you get the first down, it means a lot. But now you're giving up critical field position. Welcome back Tyreek Hill after a quick trip to the locker room. Well, my guess is he went in and either got an IV real quick or, uh, or, or at least pumped in some, some fluids to, uh, to stop the cramping. Edmonds in the backfield. Tonga Bailoa, first and ten. Good time. Armstead a good block. And outside they go, Kosicki. And forced out of bounds across the way by Justin Houston. They get to the 48. And on the play, they pick up seven. Working that side of the field where Tyreek Hill was running his route up the field and, and then hitting the check down underneath to Gasicki, who was able to pick up seven yards. Gasicki had one still, catch last week. He has four today for 41, Trent. I'm just sorry. still so much time here. I yes, mean, it's, oh it's you know, that's a critical fourth down to go for and miss. And now all of a sudden, if the Dolphins are, are able to put a drive here together and, and get seven, it changes the landscape of this game. Second down and three, and they go outside, and it's caught. For the first down, and it's grabbed by Hill, who picks up four. He makes his seventh reception of the season, has 50 of the game. He has 52 yards through the air for the Finns, who will move it to the 48-yard line of Baltimore. Coming into this game, if you'd said to the Ravens, hey, Tyreek Hill's going to average seven yards a catch, I think they would have been completely yes. fine with that. And that's so true. Because he's averaged the most of any receiver since he entered the league per reception. First and ten. Tonga Viola slings it again and incomplete this time to Wilson. A lot of traffic around him, including Demarion Williams. It'll be second down and ten. Stay tuned for the NFL Today update delivered by Little Caesars. Time permitting, join JB and company for the news scores and highlights of week two in the NFL. That's next here on CBS. Time permitting is Mike McDaniel. Dials up another play with a second and ten for his third-year quarterback out of Alabama. He'll fire it inside. Intercepted almost and dropped by... Marcus Williams. It would have been his third of the day on a pass intended for Jalen Waddle. It'll be third and ten. Well, Tua trying to squeeze this in. Waddle's going to be coming from the left, work across the middle of the field. Watch as he fires it right in the zone. That's a ball that Waddle has to catch. If he makes that catch, he just turns his head up field too quickly, makes that catch. They've got a first down right around the 35 yard line. Instead, it nearly gets intercepted. This is four down territory, Kevin. So, yes, you want to get it here, but you know you've got two downs to get it. They've thrown to Waddle 16 times. He's caught nine, third and ten. Two are going deep. Oh, he's got Hill! He's got Hill! That is six! And the Dolphins are back in business! Well, there's trips to the left. Hill is by himself to the right. The Ravens bring pressure off the left side, so that means on the back side, Marcus Peters is one-on-one -on -one with Tyreek Hill. Looks like the rookie Kyle Hamilton, the safety, is back there as well. He just gets caught up watching the eyes of Tua. Tua was drawn to the other side of the field. Hamilton freezes, which you can't do with Tyreek. He'll get over the top of you quickly. Sanders to make it a touchdown game with 7.47 to go. It's true, 35-28. And the Miami Dolphins have come back from a 35-14 deficit. They've scored 14 unanswered. And this one was deep for Tyreek Hill. And Tua has just thrown his fourth touchdown pass today for the Dolphins. 
Well, with that trips formation to the left, the receiver coming across the middle of the field to his eyes over that direction. You can understand as a young player as Kyle Hamilton and, and what his responsibilities are. You see that guy coming underneath knowing that Peters is on the backside with that receiver. You want to get that guy. There's nobody else. There's no other defender because they had they had brought secondary pressure. So he jumps that that dig route on the inside and that leaves no help for Marcus Peters over the top as Tyreek gets a touchdown. Just hey, just came out of the locker room. Just came out of the locker room where he got some IV and some treatment on that leg and cramps. And you can see what the Dolphins had done a big play touchdowns prior to Hill and what he has done over the last two years when he was with Mahomes and Reed in Kansas City. Baltimore failure on fourth and one when Lamar took it looming large the ensuing kickoff in the end zone and out whacked out there by Sanders and out to the 25 and a touchback with the first and 10. Coming up next it's game two of our NFL on CBS doubleheader. Most of you are going to be heading to Dallas where all eyes will be on Joe Burrow leading the defending AFC champion Bengals against the Cowboys. Coming up next, the NFL on CBS Game 2. Jackson has had an incredible day. 119 yards rushing, 16 of 19 through the air and three touchdown passes. First and 10. Fake the hill. Blocked by Moses, downfield, and incomplete. Flags likely was about five yards away from the other tight end. That was Andrews well, and the flag thrown. Well, I think they're going to get Rowe for holding Andrews on the back side. That's not where the ball was going, but just based on the body language in the middle of the field. Before the pass, holding defense. Number 28, five-yard penalty, automatic. First down. Cater Kohu, who was so terrific last week in just 18 snaps, very impressive. A rookie for agent out of Texas A&M Commerce called there. Well, they did call on Kohu against Likely, but I know Andrews had his arms up in the air. You see the inside on the slot there. Not a lot there. A lot of hand checking between the two of them, but I didn't necessarily. It wasn't like he hooked him with no. his arms, so. High penalties now in the Miami D. First and ten for Jackson. In the pistol with Hill. Hill has it. Cuts, slips, tackle. Nice play. Christian Wilkins got him. Phillips came over there to finish him off in a loss of two, and they're back to the 28. Wilkins is relentless. Whether he it's is. in the backfield causing pressure for, for Lamar Jackson, whether it's in the backfield breaking up the runs like he did here, or he had Lamar Jackson, he tackled him down the field in the first half, about 30 yards downfield. So his effort and uh, athleticism is standing out today. Second down, 12. Not many people deep in the defense. Well, here's that cover zero look. No yeah. help in the middle. Four guys lined up man to man. They rush. Oh, oh, almost picked off by Howard. Just that close. Mm. Oh, he was thinking six. Mm. Went cover zero, just a quick out. Howard jumps it. He catches that nine out of ten times. It just luckily for Lamar Jackson, he doesn't catch that one. They don't go after him often, do they? No, they, 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 yeah, they have been, and he's been playing soft a lot of a lot today. And, and that time, knowing he had cover zero, knowing the ball was going to come out of the hands quickly. Had an opportunity to tie this game up and didn't bring it in. Safeties are deep here, third and 12. Hill a block, Jackson on the move, flag is thrown, needs the 40. Look out, downfield, incomplete to likely. But a flag went down back at the 20. Yeah, I think it would have it come back anyway. Yeah. I think they're going to get holding here. But you'd still like to see the rookie come up with that ball. They've gone to likely four times. He's caught three. There is no foul on the play. Incomplete pass. Fourth down. Oh well, now that makes that, now it makes that drop even more critical. Yes, for likely. 
That's too bad. As you said, three targets, three catches up until that point. He was the star of their preseason. He was terrific. You know, he just had his hands turned. If you if you turn the hand, you know, it's jumping in the air, trying to control your body, the hands, just just an awkward way to try and catch it, and he didn't wasn't able to bring it in. Low snap to rookie Jordan Stout from Nick Moore. Deep back Holland. Out of bounds, decent beginning field position for the Dolphins, who are down by seven. Let's go to New York. Here's JB and the coach. Kevin, chubba dub dub. Yeah, Nick Chubb's third touchdown of the day. Look at his feet right there. Look at his knees. He chomps him and he can make him. Got the power to run over you. 87 yards on the day. The Cleveland Browns take the lead over to Jets, 30 to 17. Kevin, Trent, and Melody. Well, they are looking at 2 0 to start. Well, pretty impl- impressive what Cleveland's been able to do on the ground there because Baltimore a week ago wasn't able to run against that New York Jets defense. So give credit to the Browns and, and what they've been able to get done, especially with Chubb, as we've got a game here coming down to the wire. Ravens only held it for a minute. 36 yard line to a first and 10. Gasicki on the move. Edmonds twirls into the grasp of the big man in the middle after a gain of two, Washington, and put him up to the 38. Well, we're pretty evenly matched when you look at the numbers on the day. Miami with six minutes to go, trailing by seven. Waddles had a big day. Hill coming up with a big day. Two guys, two receivers over 100 yards. Second down and eight. They're coming from the side. They get it off to Ingold, and it was read beautifully by Chuck Clark. And again, near the 39, they pick up about a yard. Good blitz, good secondary blitz coming off the edge, and Clark was out there to stop it. Kept contained, didn't allow Tua to get outside, and then as Tua dumped it off, Clark there to make the tackle as the crowd tries to help out this defense. Is it third and six for the Dolphins? It's really about seven. A long, long six. Big play. Tunga Bailoa, blocked by Armstead. Going, he's got him! He's got him! Tyreek Hill! And the Dolphins have come back! 60 yards! Unbelievable! An extra point from tying the game after being down by three touchdowns. Here's Tyreek lined up on the rookie armor Davis, and there's really not a lot to it. It's just a matter of, hey, I'm going to run by you. Obviously, there was some kind of confusion. Armor Davis doesn't even backpedal. He He must think that he has safety help because he didn't even move his feet. He just squared his feet up and just kind of tapped him on the way by. No safety rotation over there. I wonder if uh, Armour Davis is looking around like, Where, where's my safety on that? So they catch Baltimore in miscommunication, take advantage of it to try and tie this thing up. This will tie Sanders at 35. Waddle has 161 yards. Tyreek Hill has 160 receiving yards. Tonga Vailoa has thrown for 429 yards and five touchdowns to come back from three touchdowns down at halftime to tie the game at 35. And they have scored touchdowns of two and 48. And right there, 60-yard touchdown passes from Tua Tungabailoa. Well, and here's the thing. Not only were they down 21 at half, they were down 21 going into the fourth quarter. Yes. The fourth quarter had started there down 21. Some are going to go back to John Harbaugh's decision up by 14 at the Dolphins 41 yard line. You can see the defensive back here is all looking at each other. There's Hamilton and Armour Davis and Williams gets involved. They're like, wait a second, what coverage that miscommunication? That's what happens when you have young players. Just getting that communication, getting everybody on the same page. Look at this fourth quarter. Look at that second half. 
28 7, they've outscored him. The ensuing kickoff by Sanders. In the end zone and out to the 25. Miami, 21 unanswered points in a span of six minutes and 53 seconds. Well, and it has been impressive what Tua Tonga Vailoa, he erased those from his memory, the two interceptions that he had in the first half. Three touchdown passes here in the second half, and look at that, 429 yards. Lamar Jackson's having, I mean, you can't fault the day that Lamar Jackson's no. having. It's just all of a sudden this fourth, quarter, this fourth quarter has gone crazy for the Baltimore defense. Baltimore at halftime led 28-7. Tungavailoa has thrown touchdown passes to Kasicki, Craycraft, and two to Tyreek Hill. Four touchdown passes, and here comes Jackson. On first and ten, the tight end Andrews. He swipes the linebacker Roberts aside, and it takes a gang to bring him down near the 41. Terrific catch and subsequent move of 16. First down, Baltimore. Well, when in doubt, you know you could go to that guy and count on him. Mark Andrews has been a force for the for Baltimore for quite some time. And short of the sticks, makes a guy miss, lowers his shoulder. We have the first and ten, and he's got Justice Hill on the backfield. They rush six, flushing Jackson, and incomplete, looking for Likely, and covered by Brandon Jones. There's the flag. Pass interference, defense, number 29. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic. First down. That's going to put the ball right at the 50-yard line. For our new audience, Jackson has thrown for three touchdowns and no picks in 276 through the air and 17 to 22. Bateman, his second-year wide receiver with 108. Jackson has also run for 119, including a 79-yard touchdown run. With the first and ten, Ricard the block, and Jackson downfield, and caught by Duvernay. Duvernay brought down by Alangan Roberts. The ball to the 34, and Duvernay slow to get up. He began the game, Duvernay did, on the game-opening kickoff with a 103-yard kickoff touchdown return to get things going. He just lassoed one right there for 16. Oh, and he gets up, which is good. This is good. He's able to get off the field on his own. So Jackson with two straight 16-yard completions to the tight end Andrews to his receiver Duvernay. They are well within right now. Justin Tucker kicking range. First and ten. Good read. As they give it off to Kenyon Drake, and he was wrapped up that time by Melvin Ingram, former Kansas City Chief and Charger. They lose on the play a yard, and they're back to the 35. Coming up, time permitting, the NFL Today, delivered by Little Caesars. Second down, 11. Twenty-one and answered by Miami. In the span of under seven minutes, has tied this game at 35. Well, here's the cover zero that Miami likes to show. Bunch of bodies at the line of scrimmage. They bring in five, second and 11. Outside they go. Brought down by a ton, including Howard, on a gain of two on the throw to the tight end, likely, and he's down to the 33. Now third down. As Tucker is warming up. And you can see his great success in the fourth quarter. 58 in a row. All-time leading field goal percentage in NFL history. All-pro, one of one, coming into this game this year. 
Third and nine. Well, they're bringing everybody. Pressure in Jackson. Going deep. Looking for Andrews. That's incomplete. And no yellow on the field. Tucker will trot out there and try to get a field goal and a coverage on the play by Eric Rowe playing in his first game this season. And Mark Andrews gave a little bit of a nod to the inside. That was just enough to freeze Eric Rowe and allow him to get behind him. As Lamar Jackson put it just a little bit too far out of the reach of Mark Andrews. 82 degree day, six mile an hour wind, and a 51 yard field goal try for the lead. Justin Tucker holding stout. Snap by Moore for the lead, and he drills it. Flag thrown. 51 yarder as of now. Flag, and it looks to be on Miami. Yeah, but I don't think you give up the points and, and, and let, unless you're going to go for it at fourth, fourth, fourth and four. It was fourth and nine, and now yeah, yeah, taking points off the board. The points, yeah. Yeah. Offside defense, number 20. That penalty is declined. The field goal is good. So it's 38-35, and Baltimore is back on top after leading 28-7 at the half. Four second-half touchdowns by Tungavailoa. To his tight end, Gesicki, Craycraft, and two to Tyreek Hill. You can see around the end there that Justin Bethel is trying to get it. And Tucker puts it in with room to spare. He could have kicked that from 61, and if you're a Bronco fan, you probably, <laughs> say he probably could have kicked it from 64. <laughs> and beyond, right. Or and beyond. <laughs> yes, and beyond. Now, well, if you're, if you're Tua right now, Tua Tagovailoa, you got two timeouts. You got the two-minute warning coming up. Need a field goal to tie. Need a touchdown to win. Got three touchdown passes here in the third quarter, or here in the fourth quarter. And it goes short, and Smythe, the tight end, gets it inside the twenty, and then bulldozes his way past the thirty to the thirty-two. On the kick by Tucker, 17-yard return. Wild second half. At the half, Baltimore led 28-7. So Lamar gets off on a 79-yard touchdown run. And then here's a big stop by the Dolphins. Go, or by, by the Dolphins stopping Baltimore on fourth down. And then touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. And then another touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill, catching the Baltimore secondary in confusion. We came on the air talking about how would Baltimore handle the Miami speed. They've not been able to on the edge. First and 10, Tungavailoa to the 35. They hit there by Peters. The catch by Waddle, his 10th reception. He picks up four, and he's got 165 through the air. And there's Jason Sanders warming up on the sideline. This the two-minute two warning. A beauty in Baltimore on CBS. The official pizza sponsor of the NFL, Pizza Pizza. And by Geico. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Our game has been bananas. Eight touchdown passes combined, 726 passing yards, three 100-yard receivers, Jackson over 100 on the ground. Miami two timeouts, second down and seven. They blitz, they bring five. Tunga Bailoa, oh, an acrobatic catch to the 45. Hill, Williams brings him down. Pick up of 20 through the air. Put him at the 45 and a first down. Hamilton and Queen come one safety blitz, one linebacker blitz. They're coming in, leaving man-to-man -man coverage. Two is able to get this ball off as Queen comes in untouched. Tyreek Hill with an exceptional catch, getting it into Baltimore territory. Edmonds in the backfield, Armstead the block. Here comes Hill at the 40. He broke the tackle that time of it. Williams, he breaks another tackle, then Clark from behind rides him down. Close to the first down, got to the 35, the catch and run. Picks up about nine on the play, put him at the 35. Hill is a machine. 190 receiving yards, two long touchdown receptions. 
and gasping for air. Dolphins taking a lot of time in the huddle here. I know they have two timeouts left, but you're trying to win the game with a touchdown, not tie it with a field goal. You'd like as much time as possible, making sure they get everybody right. Second down one. Craycraft. Edmonds. Big hole. Sprinting free. There he goes. Inside the 10. Now you call the timeout. 27 yard sprint. Chase Edmonds, the former Arizona Cardinal, with a great move, and it's goal to go for the Dolphins. Watch the run here. He's just going to crease it out the backside. Everybody defensive flow is going the other direction. Edmonds gets through, gets to the secondary. What a block by Greg Little, the right tackle, starting today for the injured Austin Jackson. What an excellent job by the guys up front. Edmonds doesn't get touched on his way through. Gets it down inside the 10. The only thing is, I, I think I want to call the timeout a little bit quicker just to allow yourself some more time. They did eventually call the timeout. 24 seconds, they have one timeout left. Mike McDaniel, first year coach, one last week against Belichick and the Patriots. Now he's going up against Harbaugh and the Ravens. They took over at their 32 with 218 left. Fifth play of the drive. Edmonds in the backfield. First and goal at the seven. Hill, bottom of your screen. Two into the end zone and incomplete looking for Waddle. And covering on the play was Williams. Damarian Williams, a rookie out of Houston, and injured. Well, Tua comes back, and he looks in the direction of Tyreek Hill. He sees that they double-team him. Marcus Peters to the outside, Williams to the inside. So he decides to come back with Waddle one-on-one. He throws a jump ball to the back line. Waddle gets one hand on it. Demarion Williams is still down, taking a look at him. Well, the secondary was beat up coming in, and they have been hit hard by Hill and Waddle and Tonga Vailoa. And we've got a timeout in Baltimore. Well, a good sign. Demarion Williams is a fourth round pick out of Houston. He's played a lot today, and he came down awkwardly, but getting up. Our clock. Well, he came down awkwardly, but he's he's drinking that Gatorade bottle as he's coming up that tells me it's a cramp, cramp. normally right. it's a cramp type thing if you're, if you're that worried about drinking as you're coming off the field trying to get your fluids going as Miami has a second down here from the eight we've well, got to go back to 2005 last time the Finns pulled off this kind of a hole to get out of second down goal at the seven Geno Stone has come in to take the place of the injured Williams Waddle in motion. Tunnel by Loa. Blocked by Armstead. Two into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown! Caught for the touchdown! Waddle! Miami has taken the lead! Well, the Baltimore Ravens once again double team Tyreek Hill. I thought he was going to look for Gasicki. The big target in the end zone. Gasicki runs a drag route underneath, leaving Waddle one-on-one -on, -one on the outside against the rookie, against the rookie Armour Davis. Waddle's gonna be right here in the slot. He does a little out and in. Tua as he steps up in the pocket, puts it up high. Armour Davis not able to get a hand on it as Waddle comes up with yet another touchdown. The extra point put up through by Sanders. Tua Tungabailoa has thrown six touchdown passes today. Waddle has caught two of them. Hill has caught two of them. Miami, 28 unanswered points over the last 12 minutes. 11.58 to be exact. And the six touchdown passes ties a Dolphin record set by Greasy in 1977 and Danny Marino in 1986. The Ravens 
will have 14 seconds with which to work and two timeouts. And Lamar Jackson at the helm. And he has had a terrific day. But this, I mean, nobody saw this coming. Well, not the way the game was going, the way that uh, the way that the, the Baltimore defense was playing, the way that Lamar Jackson was playing, the way they had controlled this game, entering the fourth quarter, nobody saw this coming from Tua in this offense, and the reversal for the Miami defense and what they were able to do, getting the ball back, getting stops, giving their offense an opportunity, and then Tyree Kill, who left the game, left the left the field. We assume to go back and get an IV because he was cramping up. He comes back in in the fourth quarter. Two fourth quarter touchdowns, nearly 200 yards receiving. Duvernay is not back there because he's been ruled out with a concussion, so they've got Kenyon Drake back there. Remember, Duvernay is an all-pro return man, and that is in and out of the end zone. And that will be a touchback to the 25. Good kickoff by Sanders. And now Lamar Jackson, who has run for 119 and a touchdown and thrown for 294 and three through the air, has 14 seconds with which to work. And when you were in these situations, what were you thinking? Well, 14 seconds and two timeouts, what you're trying to do is just get the ball as close to midfield as possible. Get the call to midfield, be in bounds, out of bounds, whatever, with the two timeouts. You get the timeout, then that at least gives you an opportunity to make a Hail Mary down into the end zone. And Jackson underneath, caught by Sanders. He's chased and brought down in the play by Eric Rowe. He gets near the 40. A catch and run of 15. Put him right at the 40. Moving the chains. Clock at 9. Timeout, Baltimore. One left. Well, and that gives you a chunk of 15 yards. Use your first timeout. Now, the second down, you either hit a slant or something across the middle of the field that gets you to the 50. Maybe the other 45 gets you another 10 or 15 yards. You just tell your receivers you're in the huddle. You catch the ball. Don't waste all the time before you hit the ground. Catch the ball, get down, so we can get a timeout to get a final play. Don't run the clock out by running around trying to make things happen. Baltimore is season to go four blown fourth quarter leads. Leading to losses. First and ten, Lamar underneath. Oh, batted down. Batted down it goes. And it may have been Ingram who swats the ball, second and ten, and only a second off the clock. It was Ingram. I don't know too many plays that take a second other than clocking I, I the was football. Just, I so I don't, I mean, that, that, that's, that's amazing. A little, that's a little odd that it's just, that it's just one second. Maybe uh, a slow two or three. I don't, yeah, I don't know, two or three, <laughs> but yeah, one second on a play up the field. That, uh... Second down and ten, Lamar underneath. And here he is, Tylen Wallace. First catch today, first catch of the season. Picks up nine, clock at four. Another timeout taken, and they'll put him at the 49s. It'll be third and about one. Third and a yard and a half, maybe shy of midfield. Well, the miracle makers of Appalachian State well, threw listen, a Hail Mary yesterday. You know, we right? have seen in the first couple weeks of football, yes. both college and pro, some amazing games. Yes, some great including finishes. Including this one. Yep. Including this one. Yeah, so... Yeah, now you just want to buy time. If you're Lamar Jackson, you've got to give your receivers time to get down the field. How about the Dolphins? They've got seven players inside the 10. Five you couldn't see there. Here they go. Third and one. Lamar will uncork and pray. Deep downfield. Incomplete. No yellow. Zeros on the clock. The Dolphins have pulled off the improbable and won it down by a ton at the half by three touchdowns, and they come back to win.